Hey there, this is Ravi Jalobos, and today I wanted to show you a simple example of using JavaScript templating to make it easier to build your websites. So recently I did a small website for a bar camp event in my area, and this is the type of project that requires you to have small amounts of data. Essentially, I wanted information about my speakers to be available in this little click-through widget right here, as well as a speakers page. It's the same data, just presented in different ways. So this is the kind of problem I used to throw a database at, but the project really didn't have enough data to justify that. At the same time, I didn't want to have to use HTML because I knew this information would have changed a lot and it would be a pain to update, especially if it was in multiple places. So to solve it, I used a library called mustache.js. Mustache is actually a templating format that's used in a lot of different languages. Now there's actually a library that implements this templating system in JavaScript and it's called mustache.js. You may have heard of some other libraries out there like underscore or handlebars and dust.js. So why did I choose mustache? Essentially because I wanted something super simple. Some of the other libraries provide more functionality, but I really didn't need the complexity for my very small project. So that's the great thing about mustache.js. If you know a little bit of JavaScript and a little bit of jQuery, it's super easy to implement. So if you're not familiar with JSON, make sure you check out this article on getting started with JSON using JavaScript and jQuery. In order to work with libraries, you have two options. You can install them manually or use CDNs. So to use this implementation, just go to this website and click on this download zip link. You're also going to need a copy of jQuery, so you can get that at this URL. Just click on this download jQuery button right here. Now you can also load the libraries from a CDN, a content delivery network, which is essentially a site that specializes in hosting popular libraries. And you can find this one called cdnjs.com with copies of the most popular libraries, including Mustache and jQuery. So if you go to this page, you can check out what the data is like for our project. It's a super simple JavaScript object that essentially has an array called speakers. And inside that array, it has objects for the different speakers with information like first name, last name, category, image, et cetera, et cetera. So what I'm going to do is create a page. It's going to be a super simple page. And I'm just going to give it a title here. So I'll create an H2 right here. I'll call it titles. And I'll also create an unordered list. And that unordered list will have an ID of talk titles. This is so I can target it later with jQuery and insert the information that is the result of the merging of my file with my template. So then I need to of course load the two libraries. I can do that with just simple script tag. For the source I'm going to go to cdnjs and load up the jQuery library. Now I found out that when I tried this I needed to add the HTTP colon to the beginning of the library. I'm not sure why it wasn't working but it'll work if you do this. So now that I've loaded jQuery, I also need to load mustache.js. So I'll do the same thing. So the next thing you'll need to do is actually create the template. That's going to be pretty easy. You can create a mustache.js template inside regular script tags. So right over here, I'm going to add another script tag. And this is not going to have a source. It's going to have a type, but it's not going to be text slash JavaScript. What we need is to put the template in JavaScript in a way that the browser is not going to confuse with actual real JavaScript. So I'll change this to text template. That way the browsers will ignore anything inside my script tags here. I also need to add an ID so that I can target this again with jQuery later on. It's going to be speakers template. And here's where I'll start writing my mustache.js. The array containing all my speaker info is called speakers. So what I'll do is in these double curly brackets, I'll type in pound speakers and I'll close this. So let me just copy this and I'll close this like I would an HTML tag. Just put in slash speakers. What this is telling mustache is that you're going to go through the items in this array one by one. Inside those items, I want to create list items. And all I want to print out right now is the title. Um, I could, of course, if I wanted to type in any other fields, like first name or anything else I want it. When I wanted to use a field, all I would have to do is just type in the field name in these double curly brackets. That's why it's so easy to use. And also that's why it gets a name that is kind of like related to facial hair. So this technique of putting data from a data file into a template is called data binding. So what we're doing is binding the elements from my JSON file into 
these different parts of our template. So finally, all I need to do is add a jQuery function that's going to grab our JSON file and then it's going to insert it into the template. So we'll start off with a main jQuery function that will execute after the page is finished loading. And inside this function, I'm going to use the getJSON method. And in that getJSON method, I'm going to pass it the URL of our file, which is right here. When it receives that data from the server, I want to pass it along an anonymous function. That just means a function without a name. And inside that anonymous function, I'm going to do all the magic. So I'll create a template variable and that template is going to go find our speakers template that we created earlier and get the HTML from that template. And then I'll create another variable that's going to hold our information that we received from mustache. And so we'll use the mustache to HTML method. That'll get the template variable that we just created plus the data that we received from the getJSON method. Finally, I'll take all that information that I received from mustache and I'll pass it along to the unordered list with the ID of talk titles and place inside it the HTML that we receive from our info variable. I also need to make sure that I pass this variable called data because getJSON is going to return everything into this data variable. I'm going to use that right here to feed mustache.js with our template. So let me save that and I'll refresh here and now you can see very quickly the list of titles from the speaker's talks. So in just a simple little jQuery function, I was able to retrieve the data that I needed and display it into this template. Now the templates can be varied. You can use multiple templates on the same page for the same data. So if you look at the example on Barcam, you'll see this page is built with one template. But if I go to the home page, you'll see that this is using the same data file, but it's displaying the data in a different way. I am also using it to build the list of sponsors right here as well as the list of sponsors at the bottom of every page. One caveat that you may run into when working with this is that some browsers like Chrome will have a problem when you try to display local files that are reading external data. The first thing you would notice in Chrome is that the list doesn't show up and if you right click to inspect the element you would notice this error. So what this is saying is that while reading this local document, you cannot ask for external file sources. There's nothing wrong with your code. It's just the way that the security features are set in Chrome. You can find the example and all the code for this project on this page in GIST. And you can also read an article about this on my blog.